Hello, I'm Dane DeFebo, museum educator of the National Civil War Museum here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And I bring to you this snapshot for the month of November sponsored by UPMC Central Pennsylvania and the UPMC Health Plan. November 6, 2021 marks the 156th anniversary of the last Confederate surrender. The surrender of a Confederate commerce raider called the CSS Shenandoah. The ship's surrender was unconventional in the sense that the commander of the vessel, Lieutenant James I. Waddell, surrendered the ship to British authorities in the English port city of Liverpool, which was not in the former Confederacy, the United States, or even on the North American continent. The CSS Shenandoah was originally named the Sea King and was a British merchant ship that was launched on August 17, 1863. It was built by the firm of Alexander Stevens and Sons of Glasgow, Scotland for the initial purpose of shipping tea from East Asia and British troops, especially to New Zealand. It took the name Shenandoah when it was commissioned into the Confederate Navy on October 19, 1864, the day after it was secretly purchased by the Confederate Navy from the Liverpool firm of, the, of Wallace Brothers. The CSS Shenandoah's first order of business was to seek enemy merchant ships on the Indian Ocean between South Africa's Cape of Good Hope and Australia, as well as against whaling vessels that were seeking trophies in the Pacific Ocean. En route to the Cape of Good Hope, the Shenandoah captured six vessels as prizes. The Shenandoah arrived in Melbourne uh, in the Australian colony of Victoria on January 25th, 1865, after capturing and burning nine additional ships. In Melbourne, the Shenandoah received repairs and some members of its inadequately numbered crew even deserted. In early April, the Shenandoah took prizes in the Caroline Islands and sailed northward into the Bering Sea, taking prizes of more whaling vessels. Over the six day period between June 22nd and June 28th, 1865, the CSS Shenandoah captured 23 Union ships, which were mostly surrendered without gunfire being involved. The crew of the Shenandoah received reports of Robert E. Lee's surrender and the Confederate efforts to continue fighting even though the course of the war had turned against them. On August 2nd, 1865, Waddell and the Shenandoah's crew were consider considering an attack on San Francisco, but the crew of a British ship informed Waddell that President Jefferson Davis was captured and the Confederacy had officially collapsed. Waddell and his crew fled around South America and northward through the Atlantic Ocean to Liverpool to surrender to the HMS Donegal and his captain James N. Painter. Waddell had chosen this course of action because of fears that his crew would be treated as pirates had they surrendered to U.S. authorities. The CSS Shenandoah had traveled 58,000 miles, thus, thus circumnavigating the globe, and had captured and or destroyed 38 ships in not much more than a year's worth of service to the Confederacy. However, the ship's history did not end in Liverpool. The United States took possession of the vessel, and in 1866, it was purchased by the Sultan of Zanzibar and was re renamed El Majidi. It sunk in a storm off of Zanzibar, an island off the coast of East Africa, in 1872. Thank you for listening to this National Civil War Museum snapshot. Please view other videos like this on the museum's YouTube channel. Take care.